Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist with Pioneer, and today, once again, I want to come back and talk with you about just some small things to pay attention to to make ourselves 10% better. Today, I want to talk with you about corn planting depth. Now, when we think about corn, most of us know and realize that uniformity of emergence has a large role to play on final outcome and yield with corn. When it comes to planting depth, we're actually setting ourselves up either for uniformity of emergence or maybe even stacking the cards against ourselves from the very beginning. I am a big fan of deeper planting, thinking that two to two and a half inch mark because of this. As you can see in this picture, I have a soil thermometer at one inch and at three inches is the second soil thermometer. And you can see the wide range of variation in temperature. This was taken at 12 in the afternoon, not when we typically think we want to take soil temperatures, but to show you how much that top inch is being influenced by the environment on this bright, sunny, warm day. Now, when we want to have uniformity of emergence, we want every seed to experience the exact same habitat early on. Planting that seed deeper means we have less undulation of soil temperature up and down based on just the environment outside. It also means that our moistures are more consistent and constant throughout. Even when we're talking about, you know, drier or wetter, I still like to keep that two to two and a half. Also, what I've experienced over times is obviously in the area that I'm in, we have a lot of variation in soil type throughout our field. Some of our soils are, you know, harder clays on the tops, maybe softer in the bottom. And as we try to drive that seed deeper, two things happen. Number one, a lot of times our planters will get that seed in deeper as we're going for a deeper depth. Number two, if we do end up shallowing that planter up over a knoll or something, it isn't near the issue whenever we have been planting deeper. One last point to think about when we're planting corn and I think about actually measuring the depth, think about paying attention to the depth of that seed when you're actually full speed with your corn planter, not simply stopping the planter and going behind. Why do I say this? Planters are similar to boats or anything else. The faster we go, the more we push that planter forward, the more lift it has overall. So when I'm setting depth, I wanna make sure that what I'm measuring is at full speed, not as I'm coming to a stop and that is slowing down. An additional point on this is with our modern planters, we're getting better and better with our downforce to be able to keep those planters in the ground across multiple conditions. However, when I look at gauge wheel contact or whatever your planter might measure that by if you're using this technology, what I don't wanna see is 100% every moment across that field. I certainly don't want to see it p pinging off of that a lot, but I want to see it uh, floating below 100% every so often just to know that I'm not over applying downforce, which can also create some havoc in that seed furrow and trench. I hope you found this informative and helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to myself or your Pioneer sales agronomist and have a very safe and productive planting season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.